What is up everybody? Jeremy, Snakes of the Memories here. And today I want to talk to you guys about my thoughts on ARS racks. So, let's get into it. So, I've had this rack for about a month now. And these are just giving me like my thoughts on this, these racks. Uh, so far, they're very nice. Uh, well made on my part, I will say. Because I built it. You know, hey, shout out to me. Uh, oh, shoot. Shout out to ARS for sending me a free shirt because they messed up my order. Real bad. <coughs> um, but seriously, uh, um, they're very, very well made. Very sturdy. I am 100% happy with how well it is built. Um, the ease of sliding these tubs compared to like my homemade rack is a game changer. I love it. Um, also, the fact that these rack, well, these tubs are gray, the feed response has improved significantly in my collection. Um, I would honestly, I had. One, I had two girls that were on ASFs, um, and they are all on rats now. They went into here, and the first week I fed an ASF, the second week I fed a rat, took a rat. Because on the first week, uh, usually when I drop in the, even an the ASF, the, uh, she would just look at it, you know. She would eat it, don't get me wrong. It just would take her about 30 minutes to get interested in it. Now, it, as soon as I slid this tub out i put that asf in she was immediately on that asf like white on rice and i was like okay i know what that means next week got a small rat ate that small rat immediately didn't even touch the substrate just as soon as i went to drop it in took it right away so the feed response from everybody has dramatically improved i have not had uh I've not had a, uh, anybody refuse a meal yet. Knock on wood. Nobody has refused a meal um, since they got moved over to here. And I, honestly, it's the blacked out tubs. I know you guys, you know, everybody has their opinions on it. Ball pythons like confined dark spaces, guys. And grayed out tubs, confined, and dark spaces. And just personal opinion. I had I had uh, clear tubs. Most of the time, everybody, not that everybody would eat, but most of the time everybody would eat. You know what I mean? I'd have one maybe not eat here and there. But, uh, you know, like once a week, like one or two wouldn't eat. Now, here, it's been a month straight of everybody eating. Everybody devouring. Everybody lunging out of that tub, trying to get that food, which is awesome in my opinion that is so exciting it is a significant feed response that i've seen since i've moved my snakes to the ars racks and am i giving ars credit for it maybe should i maybe not because you know it is just i moved them to darker tubs but it's an ars rack so gotta give them credit where credit's due so it's working I'm happy. I'm, I'm super excited. So I'm loving the feed response. I'm loving the grayed out tubs. The ventilation seems to be perfect. I don't even run my big fan anymore in my snake room. You guys know how I got that big fan that, that I want to say is like a 30 inch oscillating fan. I don't even run that anymore because the ventilation is so good in here. I don't need to have that extra airflow that I was needing when I had my built racks. So that is another perk of having these. Also, another perk is they look freaking nice. Let's be honest here. This looks, this looks way nicer than my wood racks, in my opinion. My Guess what? I made those racks. I can get, I tell you, shoot you straight. They, they worked. They did the job. I'm proud that I made those racks. I'm proud of where those racks got me. But I am extremely excited to have professional grade racks. And that's Lee's right here. Also, so yeah, they slide easy, freaking ventilation, heat tape, everything. 
Now, I guess the only, like, gripes I have with these racks so far, um, tall as hell, that's my fault though, because I made it 13 high, and I don't know if you can see it, but it goes up past my hand. I don't even know if my hand's in camera, but it goes all the way up. It's insane. I love it. I had to buy a bigger ladder because I need my own ladder when it work. I love it. That's awesome. So it's super high. Again, it's on me and I like it. Um, also, I did not get the same color tubs throughout. That is just a me issue. I don't know if this picks up on camera, but you got like your tannish gray color, like your light gray, and then you have like the dark gray. So I had enough to do one and a half racks with the dark gray tubs, and then they sent me like 35 um, of the light gray tubs, which, which their tubs, they do their job. They don't care what color they are, but it's just a personal preference. It's like a, it's a quality control thing. In my opinion, it's like, you, you, you could have sent those 30, 30 or 40 uh, light gray tubs with another rack that needed just 30 or 40 tubs. And I could have got all matchy match tubs. Again, that's just my OCD of me wanting everything to kind of be matchy matchy. Um, but that's it's not, it's not a big deal. It doesn't hurt anything. It literally... Just makes me be a little, eh, it's not the same color, I don't like it. But other than that, it's fine. So yeah, honestly, overall, I like it. I like my ARS racks. Um, I'm not going to bash anybody. I'm not trying to do that. Uh, you guys know I've had a lot of issues with the, uh, when it came to building these. Again, they made it right. But I guess my one... Comment if ARS you ever watch this the Quality control I think just needs to step up um, and You can disagree with me if you want But I ordered these racks You guys basically know my issues that I had again. It was made right, but It shouldn't have to be made right. It should be done right the first time That's just my opinion um but other than that, I do love these racks. I would recommend these racks to anybody, especially the price point compared to like the Freedom Breeder racks. These are a significantly lower price for me than it was the Freedom Breeder. Um, I was able to buy two racks versus one from Freedom Breeder. That's kind of why I went with ARS. And also, I'll tell you right now, again, building these things was freaking fun. Um, I want to say, uh, when we got, when we got into our rhythm, Holly Time Day was about five minutes a level. It takes five minutes to build a level, which ain't too bad. It's pretty easy. Um, so it's not bad to build. I really enjoyed building it. I think that was, that, that's what, you know, kept me going when I was building these. Like I enjoyed building things. So I enjoyed building these racks. That was, that was really fun. Um, but, you know, comment down below. What do you guys think about my racks? You guys, you guys excited that I got new racks? I'm excited. Um, you guys have Freedom Braid? Do you have ARS? What do you guys use? And clear tubs or gray tubs? Gray tubs. I'm telling you right now, gray tubs. Lock it in. If you want your ball pythons to thrive, gray tubs all day, every day. That's just my personal opinion. It, you know, it what it is. <laughs> Snakes love them. I love them. Easier to clean, easy... Water dip changes, water's not going everywhere. Oh, so nice. There's honestly, there's just a lot that I like with these. It's such a nice improvement of what I came from to this. So it's, it's, it's just, it really is nice. It's easy cleaning, water dishes, freaking deli cups. I, I love it. I'm happy Holly got these for me and I'm greatly appreciative of it. And yeah, again, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about my racks. 
Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about these racks. You know, I'll try to answer the best I can. Um, but definitely check you guys on the next one. Deuces.